Well, payback time for faulty state Obamacare exchanges, at least according to a bill filed by Republican lawmakers requiring states that experienced serious technical problems in running their Obamacare exchanges to repay the federal government over a 10-year period. And the senator who introduced the State Exchange Accountability Act, that's what it's called. He joins us now, Senator John Barrasso. He's chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I was listening to some of the interviews that you've done. I've, I've read some of the comments that you've made. And you're saying that uh, taxpayers shouldn't have to pay twice for the mistakes made by this administration when it comes to Obamacare. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, people know what they want. They want accountability for their hard-earned taxpayer dollars. They send money to Washington, Washington wastes it, and they say that's not fair. So this health care law, this uh, health care law that set up state exchanges, uh, about half of those states have failed miserably, but they've wasted a lot of taxpayer dollars in the process. And when you have incompetence and mismanagement, I just think that the taxpayers from around the country ought to get their money back from those states that allowed those sorts of problems to occur. People want accountability, not excuses. And some of the states that you've mentioned specifically, Massachusetts, Nevada, Maryland, Oregon, you know, these states, they spent massive amounts of money on these exchanges that then turned around and didn't work. And you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars, and now those states are throwing up their hands and saying, oh, we're just going to go into the federal exchange and say, hey, just forget about the fact that we wasted all of this money. And I say that's not good enough. The American taxpayers deserve accountability. Yesterday at the hearings for the new Secretary of Health and Human Services, she said this should be, the money should be recovered to the full extent of the law. But Heather, the problem is that the law doesn't allow the kind of recovery that I think taxpayers deserve when it comes to accountability. And the, the bill that I've introduced with Senator Hatch calls for a return of all of that money. And I'm going to meet with the nominee to be Secretary of Health and Human Services later today to discuss that specific point, to make sure taxpayers get their money back. So specifically, how would those states then be able to return that money? Would the cost of that then come back on the residents of those states? Well, if the states have mismanaged and through failure of oversight, seen money wasted, taxpayer dollars wasted, the states would over a 10-year period have to pay back about a tenth of what they've collected each of those each of those next 10 years so they don't have to pay it back immediately but but absolutely you have to hold elected officials and those in those states that allowed this you have to hold them accountable and it seems to make sense that if it's not working then the taxpayers shouldn't have to pay for it. they should certainly shouldn't have to pay for it twice when they're also paying more for the care itself when it comes to Obamacare well, you're absolutely right. This is one of the expensive and harmful side effects of the health care law, but this is just part of the, 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 of the picture. You know, the president has told Democrats to forcefully defend and be proud of this health care law, but we know that people are paying higher premiums, higher deductibles, higher co-pays. Many can't keep their doctor even though they like their doctor. Many are finding out that they've lost their insurance coverage even though it's something that worked for them so there have been so many harmful side effects as a result of this law this is just one piece where we want accountability demand accountability for taxpayer dollars and that's why senator hatch and i introduced this legislation called the state exchange accountability act and i know you mentioned that that it would be paid back over 10 years but what type of action are you calling for in terms of the bill itself and are you calling for any sort of votes before the midterm elections well, I'd like to get a vote on this proposal immediately, and that's why I'm meeting with the, uh, the nominee to be the Secretary of Health and Human Services today to talk about 
how we can go after this money, this wasted money. She has said we should go and use the full extent of the law to have it paid back. I want to make sure all of the money gets paid yeah. back. That's the only way that the taxpayers really get the kind of accountability uh, that I believe they deserve, not just empty excuses. And that will be interesting to see if people take a stand one way or the other before the midterm elections on this. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Th thanks for having me.